Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. Hi, I'm Nathan Lowe, and here I am to teach you how to use the BSO to ASO Outline Conversion Wizard. So this video covers an intro to the block storage option to aggregate storage option wizard, when to move to the aggregate storage option, things to look for before converting, and a demo. So the aggregate storage outline conversion wizard transforms a block storage option outline into an aggregate storage option outline, notifies you of changes that need to be made to the newly created aggregate storage outline before it can be saved. After this new notification, you can either make suggested edits manually or have the SBASE administration services make the changes for you. This makes converting outlines much easier, allows you to view the converted outline as an outline file, so you don't need to create an ASO application to see your estimated outline allows for manual editing and automated editing and also allows for aggregate storage option application creation. When would you need to move to the aggregate storage option? When your BSO calculations are taking too long and the only calculations needed in that cube are roll-ups or consolidation or member formulas within that cube are, so, are really simple to change from report slash calc scripts into MDX. If you're using the EPM version 11.1. whatever, aggregate storage option is a great starting point for your cubes. If you'd like more information, please see the aggregate storage option versus block storage option YouTube video that we've posted recently. There's a couple of things you'd want to look for before converting a BSO outline into an ASO outline. ASO doesn't allow for dynamic time series and it uses a special date time dimension instead. So if you need, if you really, really need dynamic time series, you'd want to stick to BSO. Shared members can only be created once in a stored hierarchy, but can be created multiple times using multiple hierarchies in dynamic dimensions. Member formulas, which I'm pretty sure have to be in MDX, are only allowed in the accounts or any dynamic dimensions. And there's many thing, more things to look for, but I've only got six minutes to go through all this. Alright, so now we're up to the demo. So I'll show you how to convert the sample.basic database from a BSO cube to an ASO cube. Alright, so you see that I've got sample basic all up and running, so we're ready to go. So I'll click on File, Wizards, Aggregate storage outline conversion. Alright, so I'll be selecting the source outline. So I'll be looking for the BSO outline that I want to convert. So I go to sample, click next, do basic, click next, do outline, click next. Alright, so here's what I was saying before about the warnings and the errors that it'll show you. So since year in here is a dynamic time series, the dimension will be created, but the setting of dynamic time series will be ignored. With a lot of these members here, you know, 100-20 all the way up to diet, there are a lot of shared members. So shared members can't be stored more than once in a stored hierarchy. With these last two here, variance and variance percentage, 
you can only put formulas within an accounts dimension or a dynamic hierarchy. So if you make the um, you make another you make the uh, dimension that's got variance in it dynamic, this will be fine. Okay, so I'll show you a bit of the interactive outline correction. So I, down here you can choose between automatic outline correction, which lets EAS do it for you, or interactive outline correction, where you do it yourself. So you can click on this, click next. It'll show you the outline and it'll let you change, make changes and stuff yourself. So I could go, you know, click on verify. It'll show me the exact same errors that I'll be getting from the um, from the wizard. If I really wanted to be fancy, I could try and figure out where the variance is in here. And change that dimension into a dynamic dimension. But that's going to take too long, so I'm just going to click done. And it'll show me all the errors I still need to fix up. So I'll click on automatic outline correction. It'll do a lot of the corrections for me. But it won't tell me what it did, which kind of sucks. It's going to tell you that, um, you know, seven members were modified, but two were deleted. So really, the only way to see what was done is to save this outline somewhere and see what was going on. You're better off, you know, saving it in the file system so you can open it somewhere else rather than creating an out, um, an application and a database to attach this outline to. So we'll just call it like test con. Try and keep it under seven seven characters. Click next. It'll take a while, but it will create a um, an outline in the C drive that we can have a look at and open up. Okay, so I can go um, see it. If I'll go into the C drive. Just give this a bit of time to start up. Okay, so you'll see the test conversion outline here. So. You know, I could go open. Test con. And it will be the exact same outline that I showed you previously. Alright, so now I'll show you how to make an ASO cube using the conversion wizard. We'll go through again, choose the outline we're going to be copying and converting. So you know, sample basic again, it'll give us the errors. Use automatic outline correction, tell us what it changed, click next. Alright, see this little button down here? You can click on Create Aggregate Storage Application. And you can just specify the name of what you want to... Specify the name of the cube that you want to create. So I'll call it Basic Con... Or Base Con... Click OK. And it'll take a bit of time, but you'll be able to see it creating it over here. Yeah, it really does take a fair bit of time. Okay, so you can see, you can see the base con application over here. It'll say it's finished. I can click finish. And that's the demo. So that's the demo. So for more information, please contact Performance Architects or leave a comment below.